Istanbul is one of the major metropolises of the globe, having been desired by empires throughout history and straddling both Europe and Asia. The colony of Byzantium, which was established in 1000 BC, developed into the magnificent capital of the Byzantine Empire, Constantinople, and after the Ottoman takeover of the city, it kept its illustrious position as the center of their empire. The city, which was officially called Istanbul after the Turkish Republic was established, is strewn with magnificent reminders of its lengthy and storied past, and its tourism attractions will astonish even the most monument-weary traveler. What in this section you would like to change? After that, click the button below. It's that simple. Leave ample time to tour the other sites in addition to the Big Four, the Hagia Sophia Mosque, Top Cat Palace, Blue Mosque, and Grand Bazaar. There are a wide variety of other things to do across the farther areas of the city, despite the fact that many of the most well-known and excellent tourist destinations are situated in or close to Sultanahmet, the ancient city district. Number 1. Soleimani Mosque Visitors to the Soleimani Mosque say its beauty and peacefulness gives them an inspiring sense of spirituality. Located on the third hill of Istanbul, the mosque was ordered built in 1550 by the Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent. The mosque, indeed, is magnificent, blending the best of Islamic and Byzantine architecture. The mosque was extensively damaged over the years, including during World War I, when a fire broke out while the gardens were used as a weapons depot. It was restored in the mid-20th century. The mosque is marked by four minarets, indicating it was built by a sultan. When it was built, the dome was the highest in the Ottoman Empire. Number 2. Cruise the Bosphorus Strait For many visitors, a trip to Istanbul isn't complete without hopping aboard a Bosphorus excursion ferry and cruising the city's famed waterway, which connects the Black Sea to the Sea of Marmara. Istanbul's most iconic views are all from the water and the Bosphorus excursion ferries are all about sitting back, relaxing, and taking in the scenery. The most famous ferry tour is the Long Bosphorus Tour, which heads from Eminem Ferry Dock daily, all the way up the strait to the village and fortress at Anadolu Kavaji, near the northern mouth of the strait into the Black Sea. Long the ferry cruise, there are shoreside vistas of defensive fortresses, Ottoman-era palaces and mansions, and the Bosphorus bridges. The Long Bosphorus Tour takes two hours one way, stops in Anadolu Kavaji for three hours, and then returns, so you need to set aside a full day of your itinerary if you want to do it. Number 3. Hagia Sophia The Hagia Sophia is a masterwork of Roman engineering, with its massive dome, 102 feet, or 31 meters in diameter, that covers what was for over 1,000 years the largest enclosed space in the world. Hagia Sophia is the Greek term for holy wisdom and refers to Jesus Christ, the Holy Trinity's second person. Constructed between 532 and 537, on the orders of the Byzantine Emperor Justinian, the structure was an Eastern Orthodox cathedral until 1453, except for about 60 years in the 1200s when it served as a Roman Catholic cathedral. In 1453, Ottoman Turks captured Constantinople and converted the edifice into a mosque, removing or plastering over many Christian relics and replacing them with Islamic features. The building closed in 1931, and the Republic of Turkey reopened it as a museum in 1935. Number 4. Taksim Square The heart of modern Istanbul, the large and lively Taksim Square, lies right in the center of the city, surrounded by countless shops and restaurants, hotels, and historic sites. Not only a popular tourist attraction and major transportation hub, it hosts lots of public events with everything from parades to protests taking place. Besides being home to one of the only remaining green spaces in the area, it also encompasses the impressive Republic Monument with the massive, majestic, and modern Taksim Mosque rising up behind it. In addition to its innumerable establishments, Taksim borders the multi-purpose Ataturk Cultural Center, which hosts operas, plays and concerts while a charming heritage tram line also meanders its way through the square. Number 5. Gelada Tower. At 67 meters, 219 feet high, the Gelada Tower rules over the Istanbul skyline, offering great views of the old city and its surroundings. The medieval stone tower, known as the Tower of Christ, 
was the tallest building in Istanbul when it was built in 1348. It still stands tall over Istanbul today. The tower has been modified over the centuries, at one time being used as an observation tower to spot fires. Today, its upper reaches include a cafe, restaurant, and a nightclub, both reached by elevator in the nine-story building, where one can find the stunning vistas. Number 6. Dolmabas Palace Luxurious, plush and beautiful are just some of the adjectives used to describe the Dolmabas Palace, which has been compared to the Palace of Versailles. Built in the 19th century using 14 tons of gold leaf, Turkey's most glamorous palace blends traditional Ottoman architecture with the European styles of neoclassical, Baroque, and Rococo. Home to six sultans from 1856 to 1924, it also is home to the world's largest bohemian crystal chandelier, a gift from Queen Victoria. The Dolmabas Palace's setting is stunning. It was built along the Bosphorus coastline. Number 7. Blue Mosque The Blue Mosque, built in the early 17th century, remains an active house of worship today. This means visitors need to time their visits carefully, as the mosque is closed to sightseers during the five daily prayer times for Muslims. All visitors must remove their shoes and women must cover their hair. This is a small price to pay for seeing its priceless treasures that include 20,000 ceramic tiles in various tulip designs and 200 stained glass windows, all with intricate designs. The mosque, built by Sultan Ahmet, takes its name from the blue tiles on the dome and the upper levels of the interior. Number 8. Topkapi Palace Topkapi Palace is one of the must-see attractions in Istanbul that combines history and stunning scenery in an experience that is not to be rushed. For almost four centuries, the opulent Topkapi Palace served as the official residence of the sultans who ruled the Ottoman Empire. It is one of the world's largest extant palace. Sultan Mehmed E started work on the palace shortly after the conquest of Constantinople in 1453 and lived here until his death in 1481. Number 9. Downtown Istanbul Downtown Istanbul, also known as the historic peninsula, is the heart of the city and the site of many of its most famous landmarks and tourist attractions. It is located in the European side of the city and is surrounded by the waters of the Golden Horn and the Sea of Marmara. Some of the main attractions in downtown Istanbul include the Sultanahmet Mosque, also known as the Blue Mosque, the Hagia Sophia Museum, the Topkapi Palace Museum, the Grand Bazaar, the Spice Bazaar, and the Basilica Cistern. Number 10. Gulhane Park One of the largest, most beautiful parks in Istanbul, Gulhane lies right alongside the top tourist attraction, Topkapi Palace. Once only accessible to the royal court, its gorgeous grounds and gardens are a delight with the park boasting some stunning scenery and divine views over the Bosphorus. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share.